Okay, the next thing you do is you pin the inside just like this. I'm just zoom you out a little bit. Okay, anyhow. So just like this, you go ahead and pin all around the edges and what you're trying to pin to is the side that you the side that you did not iron out flat that's already been kept folded that's going up against the seam right here so that's how you're pinning all right and the next step is going to be that you're going to be sewing this um, folded end of the um, bias tape that's up on the seam line there close so what I'm and oh and first of all and then leave an opening right here leave that opening right there because that's where you're going to be starting to insert the um, elastic all right so I'm going to put it under my machine I'm going to fix that seam a little bit it's not all the way to the edge there we go, now I got it. Okay, now, you wanna get it right on the edge. I'm gonna put my needle in the left position. No. Bring it up just a notch more. There we go. Now I've got it on the left position because, see, I wanna make a casing, so I've got to leave enough room between this edge and this edge to get the elastic through and you need to cut a 40 uh, inch piece of elastic of a quarter inch uh, size okay and here we go and always do a back stitch so that way when you start pulling your elastic through the stitches won't come out and go slow You've got these curves you have to go around. Still working on getting my sewing room straightened out. Some of the ideas that I've come across have not worked out well. So I'm trying to come up with another solution because I have shelves underneath here I have no room for my legs and my back hurts because I'm having to lean over to get to the machine so I've got to come up with another solution I'll find a solution eventually I was thinking about doing a little piece of embroidery on this, but I decided not to. Now, I'm eventually going to be getting my um, embroidery attachment out, you know, that hooks onto the hoops, and I'm going to leave that on this machine, because I would rather sew with my metal machines, the ones that are made out of metal, and then my uh, uh, um, touch and sew. I love to sew my touch and sew, but right now I can't seem to get the tension right, and I'm working on it. I'll, I'll get it figured out eventually. Take your um, pins out as you go. I have a little trouble with this uh, angle right here. Cause it. There we go. Now I got it laying down flat. Uh, 
sometimes I use my straight pins to get it right on the edge too. I like to multi-purpose. a simple project. You just have to take your time with it because you've got all these edges you have to go around. It's like you're going in a circle. So you just have to take your time. And make sure you keep your um, top piece of fabric um, flat as you go. Okay, now you want to back. You want to leave enough space to get your uh, elastic through. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to back stitch. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to bring you over toward me. I'm going to bring you down a little bit more. Raising, my, uh, lowering my legs on my tripod here. me one second to do this. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Now you can see what I'm doing, I think. Let me raise your fist a little bit. Here it is. Like I said, you cut 40 inches of the elastic. And you put a safety pin in one end. I usually double over to the back side like that. And then I put my safety pin in. That way I don't have the safety pin on the raw edge. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get your elastic and you want to and make sure that it's flat. And insert it into your casing. And just here we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. All right, and then just uh, kind of squinch it up, and then pull the elastic through. And squinch it up a little bit more, and pull it through, just like this. Oh, and I forgot, I usually get the other end of the elastic, and I usually just pin it like right here. Right here, so that way, because I don't want the elastic to go up inside of the casing, then I'd have to dig it out. But I usually just pin it right here, so it doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't take long to do it. Okay, I'm coming around 
into the tip of um, the smaller end of the iron. Board, I'm ironing board. I mean. make an ironing board cover too. It's just going to be the same simple steps as this. You feel like if you feel like the elastic getting tight, like especially when you get around this end right here, then um, just pull down a little bit. Um, you know, try to straighten the elastic out. to the other end. Don't forget Sunday to set your clocks ahead. Daylight savings time. I am so excited because I love when we have the extra daylight hours. And then for th those of you up north, that means that you get to have warm weather. You know, it, it's getting really close. I haven't listened to the weather lately, so I don't know what it's like up there. I guess that you're still having problems with the snow. I don't know. Yesterday was my mother and father's wedding anniversary. My father's not with us anymore, but... And we were going to go to the cemetery, but it was pouring down rain and thundering and all yesterday. So we didn't get to go to the cemetery, but I did take my mother out to dinner. We went to Cracker Barrel. My husband and I, my sister and her family, we all went to Cracker Barrel. And then I play the organ. So I drove, well, my husband and I drove her back home. And um, when we got her back to the house, I told her, I says, that I would play some music for her. So I played the anniversary waltz for her, and I played some other songs. If my father was still living, they would have been married 59 years. I told my sister, next year we really have to do something special because that's going to be 60 years. Um, I have a whole year to think about what we can do. So I want it to be special for her. So I played a little organ with her last night and then we uh, talked for a bit. I didn't get home until about 1 or 1.30 in the morning. I was tired and I fell asleep as soon as I, because I, I had to get on the heating pad because my back was hurting. And as soon as my back hit that heating pad, 
I was out. I, and then I woke up about 3, got in the bed, and I didn't get up until about 12 o'clock or 12.30 this afternoon. I was tired. Okay, I am to the end. Get my safety pin out of the other side. Okay, take your safety pin out. Okay, fix it up a little bit. Oops. Let me pull the elastic back out. Thank goodness it didn't go all the way in too far. I'm going to go ahead and pin it over to the side. Where's my safety pin I just had? Here it is. Okay. And put a safety pin in on the other side because I'm going to address the elastic in the casing to get it evened. Okay, so where am I? Here we are. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Make sure I've got it smooth and flat all the way around, and I do. Okay, so the next step we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, sewing the two ends of the elastic together. Okay, so now, you know, I could cut some of this elastic off, which I think I'm going to, because I think I got it too long. Okay. Alright, so you're going to get one side, uh, one flat piece like this, and you're going to make sure that they're both flat. And what I mean by that is flat here, flat here, and then you're going to meet them up. And just like this, if I can get my fingers to coordinate, okay, just like that. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to sew them together. So let me get back, you could get you back over to my machine. And let me raise the camera up. There's my handle. Here's my handle. Okay, I'm going to raise it up. in the center position. Back stitch of course. I'm getting ready it looks like I'm getting ready to run out of bobbin thread, which is well I'm almost done with this anyhow. So it doesn't really matter much. And what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that I've got the casings flat with the elastic flat. And then I'm going to continue sewing the elastic pieces together. Okay. And whenever you turn material, elastic, whatever, make sure your needle is in the down position and raise your pressure foot up. Okay, and then I'm going to make a, um, 
a line going from one corner to another corner. Okay, and then I'm going to back stitch it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to cut some of my threads here. Okay, now, let's see. The next step, there's another st one more step we have to do, but you want to make sure that you've got your elastic, where, where are you? Your elastic like this. And then you're going to fold over your casing. Okay, and pin from where you left off. Well, I go over just a little bit, like a, you know, I might go over a little bit like like this to um, start the seam. Okay, and then just pin. Make sure that you have your under piece, this piece right here, under there flat. Make sure that, you, like you did before, make sure that you have your um, end of the binding that you didn't have to iron out flat up against the bottom of the seam. I can't seem to get this one to do it. Let me get it on my lap. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. That's what that's supposed to look like. Now I'm getting ready to sew it. So I'm going to start where I have the first pin. And I want it back in the left position. Okay, back stitch. time like you did before when you're putting the binding on. Okay, and then back stitch. more strings I need to cut. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. Just like this. And get it even all the way around. Okay, let me get my uh, um, arm, my sleeve ironing board. I'll be right back. And we're going to try this sucker on. So let me raise you down a little bit.
This is my sleeve ironing board. I got it at the thrift store up in Virginia. I think I paid, well they got the price here, $2.95 I paid for this. And this is the original fabric that was on there. I'm going to keep that on there. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, nice. I could have made the elastic a little bit shorter, but it works. Oops, there you are. Let me scoot back a little bit here. Okay, there's my ironing board cover for my sleeve ironing board. What do you think? Looks nice, huh? And this is the fabric that I picked out for it. She has a wagon. She has a wagon full of fabric. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Okay, well, you can make this yourself. Uh, please subscribe. Click the like button if you want to raise up so you can look at you while I'm talking. You don't want to look at all that. Here I am. Okay, please look. Please look, click the like button. Here we are. All right, please click the like button if you like my video. Um, and like I said, please subscribe. Comments and questions. I love my comments and questions, and I answer them all. And um, you have a good day or good night wherever you're at, and I hope you have a good weekend. All right, well, I will be with you when I do another tutorial, and I went to Michael's today, so I will be doing a video on the haul. Okay, well, I will see you in a little bit. I'm going to go eat me some dinner, and I'm going to come back in my sewing room, and I'm going to make my ironing board cover, and I might do a tutorial on the ironing board cover. I'm trying to get my projects caught up tonight. Okay, well, I will see you later. Bye-bye.